guys, it's Vaughn, and as promised, we are picking up where we left off yesterday. I am sharing all of my tips and hacks for decorating my entire first floor for Christmas. And y'all know me, we're definitely gonna start off on a clean slate, so we're going to be doing some general cleaning. I'm reaching for one of my favorite degreasers. This is by Zep, it's called Fast 505. And there is a part one to this, by the way, so if you guys have not seen that video of me decorating my entire upper level, I will link it for you. So in today's video, I'm not only decorating for Christmas, I'm also undecorating from all of my fall decor because I do like to leave it up until Thanksgiving because I normally cook and I want to experience the fall decor for that occasion. So today I'm definitely taking all of that down and storing it away. And for that reason, this entire process took me a very long time because I was not going to rush and I wanted to make sure I was staying organized. So this took me about three days. Starting off in the kitchen, I have this cute arrangement that I've had for years. I got those individual pieces from Michaels and then I got this cute snowman figurine from I believe at home. You guys, I'm in love with this thing. Thing. and then this really nice smelling candle it smells like candy canes it's so nice I got from Burlington and this wooden spoon actually came with a holiday towel set I thought it would be perfect in my vase after that I took a quick break um, from decorating to go ahead and finish cleaning I really needed to get these stairs clean before I bring out any more decorations from the basement and as you guys can see behind me my nutcracker is chilling on the stairs this year we decided not to put it in the family room a quick tip ladies for storing your seasonal decor you always want to give yourself time to do it right don't rush it. Don't put yourself in a position where you only have a small amount of time to get it done because what's going to happen is you're going to not do a really good job at storing it. And then when it's time to pull it back out the next year, you're going to be very disappointed. So if it takes you three days to do it, that is okay. Your future self will thank you. And I got lucky I was able to store a lot of my seasonal dining accessories in the buffet and the rest of it has a special spot in the garage. Now I'm just wiping down my dining table, preparing it for my brand new table runner. I wanted to try something different this year. I went to Hobby Lobby and got this striped runner, which I think is gonna be so cute, especially because it kinda has that country farmhouse vibe, but it's also gonna contrast really nicely on the dark table. I'm also trying something really different this year with mixing some patterns, so we will see how that turns out. Here I'm just applying these black chargers that I already had and I have some new plates I was most attracted to the detail on these I picked these up from Walmart and they're super cute and I think they're gonna go really well with the salad plates that I got focusing a lot more on detail this year more than ever and I got these new napkins off Amazon I wanted to get some new ones because the ones I have are too white and I wanted some that were a little bit off-white so this year I was gonna try something different by wrapping my dinner plate in the napkin and then placing my salad plate right on top in the middle and these are my salad plates that I ordered from JCPenney on Online. I love the acorn, evergreen, and cranberry detail. So I'm placing that right in the center of my dinner plate. And to accessorize even more and adding in some more layers, I am pulling out my dinner napkins from last year's holiday decor. And these are plaid and they came from Pier 1. And I wanted to add some drama to the napkins this year. So I wanted to fold them into a unique shape just to make them more interesting. And these metallic gold Mary napkin rings came from JCPenney. And as a final touch, these evergreen, acorn, cranberry accessories that I also ordered from Amazon. I'll put links to everything in the description box. Something else that I'm doing this year that I hadn't before is this really unique log kind of platter that I'm using as a centerpiece to add some height. But also this is a great spot to place serving dishes. Here I'm just trying to figure out the candle uh, situation. I'll probably switch these around a couple more times. But yeah, I'm really liking the black and gold combination this year. I feel like the gold brings elegance and the black brings drama. And speaking of drama, we're gonna work with some lanterns on the dining room table this year. Found those at at home and then I have this evergreen garland that I'm going to snake along the table runner. I'll show you guys how that turned out at the end but here I am in the living room about to do a quick DIY project with a candle. You guys I did this same trick for my fall table decor. I'm just using this ribbon that I used upstairs in the guest room. I'm just gonna hold everything together by tying on this recycled brooch ribbon and to keep with the same concept I'm just gonna place everything on this plate charger and surround everything with this decorative passion fruit mango scent scented potpourri. This stuff smells really good you guys. I did get this from Burlington. And to be honest I was a little nervous about the fragrance because I felt like it might not go well with the holiday vibe but those acorns smell like cinnamon and all of that blended in together turned out really really nice. So I would say if you find an arrangement that you like don't worry too much about the fragrance. Don't overthink it. Just go with it. It's probably going to be okay. <laughs> loving these frosted cranberry Christmas tree figurines. I got these from at home. I got a large one and then a smaller one and I'm just gonna place them right on the center of the table. And mommy said no. 
<laughs> oh, and um, but these Christmas trees were inexpensive, but kind of cheap because some of the cranberries were falling off, but it's okay. I think if you just avoid touching them, it'll be fine. I will share the finished results of the living room by the end of this video. Let's move on to the next day when I started on our 12 foot Christmas tree. I got this mesh ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I did use this technique last year, but I wanted to do a better job this year. So rather than have the ribbon falling vertically, I wanted to do it more of an, in a winding motion going down the tree like an ice cream cone. And the next time I do this, I wanna get a taller ladder cause I couldn't really reach, but me and my broom got it done, honey. And if you're new to decorating your tree with ribbon like I am, I would highly recommend it. Let me tell you it's a great way to um, fill in some of those sparse areas but also it just really adds some festive cuteness to that tree I mean it finishes it off so nicely and with a tree this tall anything over like nine feet you are going to work having to uh, fill it in with different ornaments and objects it requires so many more accessories than a tree at average height and I realized that after you know decorating this tree last year that I was gonna need so much more so this year I went into it with a different objective so I figured I'd go about the deck decorating with a lot more accessories than last year. These are just some glittery picks that I had last year. I'm gonna be using them at the top of the tree along with these fake cranberries. And I went crazy at the top, you guys. I didn't even have room for a star and I didn't even miss it. And for me, I didn't just put the picks in the front or on the side. I did a 360 application and I'll show you guys at the end. It turned out really, really nice. Wanted to bring in a lot more black this year, like I said earlier, so I got these black ornaments with a hint of glitter. All right, now let's move into the family room, bringing in all the same stuff that I have from last year. One way to get more out of your old uh, decorative items is to change up your orientation. So for example, that plaid runner was not used in the family room on the coffee table last year, but it does work very nicely as a switch up. Switching up the fireplace a bit, adding some garland to those doors, and I'm also gonna add some to the mantle. All of my Christmas decor, I would say the garland is probably my favorite. I have the most of it. It's literally everywhere in my storage areas. Um, do you guys have a Christmas decor item that you use in an excessive amount? Let me know in the comments below so for me it's the garland for Christmas and then candles for fall I also have a lot of figurines that I got from JCPenney last year I kind of went on a holiday shopping spree up in there um, for next year I'm probably gonna figure out a way to centralize all of the figurines in Anne's room maybe and I'll probably do something different for my main space <music> So here's a trick with the garland, right? If you buy it at different times, it's probably gonna look different. So to make it look the same, I'm just adding in these little picks and accessories to kind of make it look like the garland that I already have on the mantle. All right, welcome to day three, decorating my house. Today is all about finishing touches and getting this train set installed. As much as this train set belonged in the family room, that Christmas tree in there was just a little bit too low to the floor. So I decided to go ahead and put it under the tree in the foyer and it actually works. Back in the family room, I'm just placing some of those Christmas tree ornaments onto my mantle garland. It's going to help it coordinate better. Here I'm just adding some of that fake snow that I got from Hobby Lobby to my main lanterns, the larger ones, and it's only four down here. I did not want to do this trick upstairs because I didn't want to have to clean it, but um, I'll sacrifice for the main level. Let's say you guys, the variety of picks that I was able to get my hands on this year from Walmart has to be my absolute favorite part of the Christmas decorating this year. Just doing some detailing in the dining room, I discovered that those napkin accessories are flexible, so I'm just applying them to the tops of those lanterns and they look so good. There were so many extras in the pack that I ordered from Amazon, so I was using those everywhere. And I just have a random vase that I wasn't using. I'm just gonna pop in these really cute acorn twigs with the little fake icicles on it. I love it so much. And then I'm just gonna add in some cranberries to coordinate with everything else. And that's my buffet. Love working with decorative presents and gift boxes and I got this set of three from the dollar store and I'm just arranging them under the table to look like they're tumbling off the book. More of those Walmart picks and this is definitely one of my favorite ones and I'm just laying it on my little candle display underneath the coffee table. Just a dinner napkin but I actually really love this one I got it from Target is from the Magnolia collection. Just laying it on my coffee table in my family room underneath my cookies. And these are the coconut cookies by Tate's Bakery. So good. Just finishing up in the kitchen I do want to lay out some decorative dish towels but I don't 
don't want it to be plain so I'm starting off with this red checker towel that I already had as a backdrop and I'm just gonna lay those cute towels right on top side by side did add some garland and flower picks to that mirror in my living room I thought it looked really good on top of the reflective material and then I'm just adding some additional pillows to make things all cozy I'm gonna light some candles and show you guys all of the finished rooms all right no talking on this part <music>
gentlemen, that completes this year's holiday decor reveal. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to watch part one if you missed it where I decorate the entire second level of my home. And stay tuned for the rest of Vlogmas. I will be posting videos on YouTube every single day at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time through the entire month of December. Can't wait to share in the Christmas spirit with you all. Enjoy your holiday. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.